Hey guys, Armagon here with the companion video to the Gun Library Overview on the 1918 A2 Browning Automatic Rifle. Today we're going to disassemble this guy real quick for you guys. The primary video for this will be dropping on my main channel uh, within a couple days of this going up, and I'll link it at the end if it's already live. First things first, a quick comment. The Browning Automatic Rifle, the best use of this freaking bipod is when disassembling the rifle makes it great to work on because this is kind of a tricky gun to disassemble. All right, first things first, we'll drop our mag and we can prove clear. And now we'll just start pulling stuff off the gun. Now there are these little disassembly pins and they're meant to be removed at the tip of a bullet. As you can see, they drag across the receiver now. This is a original wartime gun. That's just part of the gun, baby. Personally, I don't mind. Some guys will, if they have a shiny new Colt or whatever that they got from Ohio Ordnance, they will slip a feeler gauge under there and just baby it out so you don't get that scratch. And if it means that much to you, go ahead. But to me, it's part of the gun. So just get that in there, boop it out of that detent and slips out. It's keyed, so it has to come all the way down here. It's got this little, little notch in there that fits into a keyway in here. With that out, you can coax ahead uh, the whole hand guard and uh, piston tube over here. That will come with the carry handle up to a certain point. Also note how this forward section dovetails into this guy right here. And actually the piston is riding inside of this and you're actually gonna need to partially pull this back. That's what leave the trigger pack on for this part because at least with the wartime guns that were open bolt, you can pull this back, retain it, catches on the sear, and that makes this way easier to pop out. Some finagling to get around the bipod there. And uh, there you go. Now there is a gas regulator in here, which you can pop out. Take a little punch or something similar to pop out this little spring clip here. That lets this guy pop out. You can rotate this and it's got a number of positions around it with corresponding sized holes inside where you can set the amount of gas the system gets. Ah, what the heck? We'll show you guys here quick. And this just spins and you select a different spot. Or for cleaning, you can pop it all the way out. There are a lot of threads and there you can see the different sized holes. Next up, we can let this guy down. Then we'll pull up our trigger pack, which is another one of these little pins. Pop it out the tip of a bullet, slides out, comes out. And this guy comes right out. And there is your triggers. Now we got to get this recoil spring out and there is a little patch right in there. It's a little rectangle. You push it in with your thumb, you kind of rotate it around and it's meant to come out when the rectangle is a long way. There's enough room for it to get out. So it's a decent amount of pressure, not crazy, but there's a decent amount of pressure on this just to let it out. It's trickier to put in than it is to take out. There's that recoil spring and guide rod. Now there's a witness hole here and an actual hole through here for a, a central pin that links all of the stuff together to drive that out. So we can just manipulate it even with the slide here, just to see where that there, there you can see that, that pin in the hole now, and we need to match up that spot with the charging handle, and boop that little guy out. That's also the keeper for the charging handle itself, so that'll now slide right off. And we can see the pin part way out the back now, we'll just pull that out the rest of the way. There's your central pin. Now at this point you can't get the slide out because there's an additional component inside here that we need to take out the little three prong thing. Slide this to the back and that will just pop out. It's got little ears there. It get keys right into the slide. Now with that out, we can take the action bar and piston all the way out. You can see the piston. Now the other potentially tricky little bit is there's a little retainer spring in there and that's actually right here. Easiest to use a little flathead screwdriver. Just get that in there and pry back. That's all you need to do and we'll pull the bolt out of its recess there. That's where the locking shoulder is. Tension that spring away. And if you can grab the back here, it'll lock her, but you can get her out. And there we go. Here is your bolt. Here's your firing pin. And there's the pin that holds this stuff together. And at this point, you're basically fully field stripped. Beefy, beefy extractor. Now, when you go to reassemble it, it's pretty simple. Everything is just in the reverse order. The only tricky kind of thing is when you put this back in, uh, pay attention to how you put it in. This part faces towards the top of the gun. This is your sear notch. So this faces towards the, uh, the trigger group. And once this is in, you've got to put this guy back in and that has to be done by, you can mash, you can see it's got this cutout right here. So 
upside down. You're kind of feeling around underneath the gun because you can't see any of this, but you're trying to line up these little ears with those little cutouts. And you just, with extra fingers, you've managed to get that in there while it's upside down in the gun back there. The other trick is when you're lining all the stuff back up to get the, the pin back in, it just takes some finagling. Um, you get the pin started, you just move around the bolt assembly and whatnot in there, and it goes back in. All right, guys, I have her fully disassembled and all on display. The only thing I didn't pull off was the bipod. All you have to do there is unthread this flash hider, and then the bipod pops right off. So that's, that's it, folks. Thanks a ton, guys. Please consider checking out the affiliate partners below. Support those who support the channel. And dropping very soon is some Boom Diggity and Arm and Gun merch from Bunker Branding. Catch you in the next one, Arm and Gun, out. Boom Diggity.